What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trick your iPhone out. Get incredible hidden features on iOS 26 with Nugget on Windows. With Nugget, you can do some seriously awesome stuff and trick your iPhone out. For those that don't know what Nugget is, this is an incredible tool for customizing your iPhone that works on all of the new iPhones and all of the new iOS versions. Nugget can do so many incredible things and I've made various different videos and guides show showcasing all of it. I'll link those videos down below in the description and in the cards if you want to check them out. In today's video though, we'll be focusing exclusively on enabling hidden slash unsupported features using this tool. Mobile Gistall is back. If you're familiar with Nugget, you'll know that Mobile Gistall existed before, and it's what allowed you to enable these unsupported features. Apple initially patched it in iOS 18.2, however, now it works up to iOS 26.1 but it was patched in iOS 26.2. So in order to use this, you'll need a device running iOS 17 through iOS 26.1. Unfortunately though, you can no longer downgrade to iOS 26.1. That means if you're on iOS 26.2 or later, unfortunately, you are unable to downgrade and you're unable to do this. You'll also need a computer for now, as Nugget needs a computer for most of these features for now. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm going to use Windows for this guide. Although this will get more and more stable over time, modifying something like Mobile Gistall is risky. More things can go wrong, such as boot loops and other things, so please, before proceeding, please make a backup of your device. Make sure you follow along here because the last thing you want to do is go modifying something like Mobile Gistall without knowing what you're doing. If you want to, you can even mess around with this on an old phone that you have lying around and not your main device. And although I'll show it in today's video, Stage Manager apparently has caused some issues, so just be aware of that. With that being said though, let's get started. Since we're doing this on a Windows computer, we'll need to download the Apple Devices app. On your Windows computer, open the Microsoft Store and search for Apple Devices. From there, click Get and it'll download. After that's done, go download Nugget for your Windows computer from the link down below in the description. Back on your iPhone, make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in Settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Connecting the device. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click on the reload button in Nugget in order for the device to be recognized. If your computer doesn't recognize your device properly, it could be a number of different things. USB drivers may not be installed correctly, or it may just be a bad phone cable. Make sure the cable is properly plugged in or try a different cable. Sometimes it is the cable you're using, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, here's how to set Nugget up. Go to where Nugget downloaded and extract it. You'll need to do this in order for it to work properly. Once the Nugget program file is extracted, we can double click to open it and it'll run as normal. So just go through this process. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. All right, here we go. So go ahead and double click on it to open it. And if you get this pop up, click more info and then click run anyway. A terminal window will pop up and it should say starting Nugget. This is normal. Nugget should pop up after that. And then you can go ahead and plug in your device. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. Download the Apple Books app if you don't already have it. Also, download Shortcuts if you don't already have it as well. These are default apps that come on your iPhone, so you should have them unless you deleted them. With that being said, there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do here, so let's get started. Getting the mobile Gestalt file. Open the shortcut that's in the description down below. There's two different shortcuts, so if one isn't working, try the other one. I'll show you how to use both of them. Finding the mobile Gistot file might be a little bit confusing, but this shortcut will walk us through it. Tap on the shortcut to select it and then tap manual method. From there, tap OK and then tap click here. Next, find the circle that says file. Tap on that circle and then from there, tap on NS string. Then select all of the text there and then copy it. Now we just want to get out of this, so tap the back button, then the check mark, then the back button again, and then the check mark again. And if you did everything right, it should ask to allow permission to save the mobile Gestalt file. 
And here it is. You can email it however you want to do it. We just need to make sure that we save it to our computer. This shortcut is the one that I previously recommended, but I was having issues with it for whatever reason on older devices. As you're doing it, this shortcut walks you through exactly what you need to do, so it might be a little bit easier for some people. When this pops up, tap allow. Now the Freeform app will open and the shortcut will guide us through the rest of this process. Go ahead and click the paperclip icon that you see and then tap add link. From there, you can paste the link in that box and then tap on insert. You should now see an image of that file show up. Go ahead and tap on that image and then select the eye icon. If you did everything right, you should now see your mobile Gestalt file. You can email this to yourself, or if you have a Mac, you can airdrop it over. Being able to change this file leads to some pretty awesome things. However, keep in mind here that the mobile Gestalt file that the device generates is device specific. Meaning, if you want to do this on a different device, you'll have to go through this process on the other device as well. And each time you want to add a feature or remove a feature, you'll need to have this mobile Gistop file. So make sure you have this file saved, ready to go for when you need it. I also got stuck here on some of my older devices. So if you can't save the file for whatever reason as well, just keep trying and hopefully the reliability of this will get better in the future. Back on our computer now, make sure your device is still plugged in and go to the mobile Gistop tab in Nugget. There are a bunch of options here, ranging from enabling Dynamic Island on older devices to enabling iPadOS. For enabling Dynamic Island on some devices, the iPhone Air resolution is a great option because it actually shifts the island down a little bit so it looks much more natural. Enabling iPadOS is risky. Don't try this without having a backup of your device. It is cool, but again, it is dangerous, so don't attempt this without first having a backup. You might not even see this option right away. In order to have it be shown, just select the Show Risky Tweaks option in Settings. There's also an option in the Settings to change the Apply method. I would leave it as Default AFC. Restore is a little bit less reliable, but that option is there to troubleshoot in case for whatever reason you cannot get the other method working. I'm going to check Enable Always On Display as well, and then once we find what we want to apply, go to the Apply section. This note at the top might pop up, just click on Restart as Admin, and then Nugget will reopen with Administrator Privileges. Then choose your mobile Gestalt file that we just saved. And then whenever you're ready, click the Apply Changes button, and you may see this pop up indicating that Windows Defender blocked it. Go ahead and just click on Allow Access. And now it'll start to run the exploit and it says, please open the Apple Books app and download a book to continue. Now scroll through the Apple Books app and pick whatever book you wanna use. In this instance, it could be just a random free trial of a book or a book that's completely free. I'm gonna tap sample. If it's free, you also can get the book. Once you open the book, it should crash out to the home screen, it'll finish running the exploit and then it restarts our device. And here we go. Right away, you can definitely see that there are some differences here. You now have the dynamic island on your older unsupported device, and I have always on display too. If you get this message, it's normal, just go ahead and tap done, and there we go. It's awesome how quick and easy it is to really add all of these unsupported and hidden features via this mobile Gestalt file. So this works on a wide array of devices and you can see there's the dynamic island and here is iPad OS mode. As wild as this is to see on iPhone, this is not recommended. And there's a lot of potential issues that could pop up if you decide to enable this, especially on your main device. Keep in mind that you can now no longer downgrade back to iOS 26. So if you run into any boot loops or stability issues of any kind, forcing you to have to restore, you'll have to restore to the latest version, which this was patched on. So again, be careful with what you do with this. I wanted to show you guys that this works on the newest iPhone 17 series phones, and it'll also work on an iPhone 13. This looks incredible on both new and old devices, and yes, it's crazy that something like this is possible. The ability to bring some of the newer features over to older devices is especially cool. Previously on some older devices, adding the dynamic island just looked really weird because the resolution and where the dynamic island was just was not quite right. Like I mentioned, earlier on, now there's that option for the iPhone Air Dynamic Island, and it just looks much better. And with iPadOS mode, you can now finally have that landscape home screen once again. 
That was a feature that previously existed years ago and was removed from iOS for whatever reason, but now you can get it again. I think the results look pretty awesome here, especially on the Pro Max models. And not only does this work in landscape, it also works in portrait mode too. So put your iPhone vertically or horizontally, it doesn't matter, you can still use this amazing multitasking feature. Having a feature like this as an everyday feature, especially on older devices, is probably not a great idea. Some of these features, like the always on display, are probably fine to mess around with and less prone to any potential issues. If you try using the spotlight search, you can see there is no spacebar anymore on your keyboard. You can see there are some definite odd behaviors here and it doesn't look quite right and it might not run like it should either. If you mix all of these together, it might work, but again, you you might start seeing some weird things start to happen. So again, unless you have an older device laying around that you want to test with this, I definitely wouldn't recommend it because it definitely can cause some issues. But again, it is important to be careful when messing with this mobile Gestalt stuff. Definitely have a backup of your device and try to do this on a secondary device that isn't your main one. With that being said, if you want to reverse this for whatever reason and remove all of these mobile Gestalt tweaks that you just did, here's how to do that. Removing Mobile Gestalt Tweaks On your computer, inside the Nugget application, make sure that you go to the Apply section and then from there select the Remove Tweaks button. Check the Mobile Gestalt box and then click on OK. And then it'll go in, rerun the exploit and take all of the Mobile Gestalt stuff off of there and when you come back, it'll be like nothing happened. So wait for it to finish removing all of the files and then it should restart and then your device should be back to normal. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's how to get hidden and unsupported features on your iPhone. If you enjoyed today's video and it helped you at all, please hit that like button. Want to stay up to date with everything about customizing your iPhone? Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on that bell icon so you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace. Ho ho ho!